Hey, what's going on internet? In this After Effects video, we're gonna create a 3D logo using no plugins. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film and I'm a little bit overdue for a haircut, but we have videos to make. And specifically in this video, we're gonna create a 3D logo inside of After Effects. And before we jump in the video, I want to say thank you to my friends over at Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. So let's go ahead and create a very awesome 3D logo inside of After Effects right now. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects and creating a 3D object is very easy to do. So we'll jump over to our tutorial composition. The only thing I have in here is a background with a quick gradient ramp and our logo, which is the Twitter logo. And the first thing you absolutely want to do when creating a 3D logo is select your logo layer, go to layer and click on pre-compose and just call it placeholder and move all attributes into new composition and click OK. And now we can start to create this into a 3D object. So what we're gonna do is turn this into a 3D layer by clicking that nice you know, cube icon placeholder right there. And we'll come here to the bottom layer, hit P on keyboard for position and bring the Z position down to two or up to two really. And simply from here, all we're gonna do is select both our placeholder layers, duplicate them, bring them down underneath our previous layers, hit P on keyboard for position and push these back by two pixels every single time. So we're gonna wanna create about, I don't know, maybe about 30 of these placeholders depending on how thick you want it to be. And you'll hit P on keyboard for position and you'll keep doing this. All right, so now I have a total of 32 placeholder layers here and it's gonna be a nice thick 3D object. So really quick, if we go ahead and go to layer new camera and if I come here and grab my camera tools by hitting C on my keyboard, and I rotate this, you'll see that this is a 3D object. However, it's not really you know, a defined 3D object. There's a couple things that we can do. One, we go to layer, new light, and click OK, make sure it's a point light. And you know, you still don't really get enough dimension in this to like actually tell this is a 3D object. It's not great. So what we're gonna do here is just delete the light because I don't want it for this uh, purpose. And we'll go to our second placeholder layer, which is number three in my uh, timeline. We'll go to effect, generate, and we're going to add fill and Phil's a good friend of mine uh, anyway set the color to black and click OK and then we'll copy the fill and we'll grab all the placeholders underneath our second placeholder layer and we will paste it to the rest of the placeholders by you know control Ving it and boom now there's definition in this 3d logo we can now tell that this is a 3d logo and that's all cool and of course you didn't have to do black you could do whatever color you want you could do like a darker blue or you know a darker shade of your color logo right and then i want to scroll down to the bottom and grab our bottom placeholder layer duplicate it and make sure we'll select the bottom placeholder layer hit p and keyboard for position and we'll bring this back two more points so we'll go to 64 in my case and then we will delete the fill we don't need it and we'll go to effect perspective and we're gonna add drop shadow and we're gonna check on shadow only and from here we can increase the softness by a little bit so maybe we'll go to like 30 and then we will duplicate this placeholder again and we'll go to the bottom one we'll increase the opacity maybe to the 75 to 80 percent and then we'll increase the softness to maybe about a hundred and I'm just gonna delete this camera real quick And let's do it one more time. So we'll duplicate our placeholder and then we'll increase the softness maybe to, maybe to about like 200 or so. And you know, maybe we'll actually go further to like 400. Let's try that. And this time we'll lower the opacity maybe down to 50%. Cool. And this will make our logo pop. All right. So now that we're done with this, what we'll do is we'll grab all of our layers, except for our background, grab all of our placeholders, go to a uh, layer pre-compose and we can call it 3d extrude and click okay <clears throat> so now we just lost all 3d capability so make sure we uh, click on this 3d icon hit r on our keyboard and rotate this it's still it's not a 3d layer anymore so what we have to do is there's this little icon right here that kind of looks like a, a circle with spikes on it we have to check that layer 
and now we have all that data back into this composition. The only reason why we, we pre-composed it so we would have a little bit more organization. So what I'll do is hit R on my keyboard to bring up rotation and hit shift S on my keyboard to bring up the scale. We'll add a keyframe for scale and say Y rotation. We'll move both of these keyframes forward in time to perhaps a little past a second. Then we'll bring the scale down to 0% and then we'll add a keyframe for Y rotation and we'll move forward back to the original keyframes and set the Y rotation to 360 degrees. And of course, we'll want to select our keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy, ease keyframes. So this logo will come in here and rotate, you know, as it comes in at us. And that's pretty cool. And if we want, we can animate this a little bit further, further. So perhaps we'll have the scale come up towards us by, you know, 115%. And then we can even, you know, further rotate this by, you know, 20 degrees. And so we'll do like an overshoot animation and then we can you know, bring the scale back down to 100% and the rotation back down to zero degrees, one X zero degrees. And then we'll move forward to the end of our animation and then we'll continue the 3D rotation of the Y rotation here of our logo. And here is our current animation of the logo and we've created a little bit of an overshoot animation there at the middle part. And we're able to see the depth of our 3D logo a little bit and you know, it looks cool. And of course there's a few more things that we can do. So, you know, as a quick example, we can go back into our placeholder composition and we can add say a text layer in here and we can say like you know the name of our brand or you know I guess to say follow us and simply now that we have this title inside of this placeholder composition we go back into our main comp it's automatically going to be a 3d layer and that looks cool so I want to add a little light sweep to this to make it pop a little bit more and to have that more of that cliche you know logo effect so we'll go to effect generate and we're gonna add CC light sweep and you can see there's a nice line along our logo like this so what we'll do is we'll grab our center and you can grab the crosshair and we'll just move it off of our logo because it's not gonna be in the way of anything We'll go to, you know, we'll add a keyframe right here. We'll add a keyframe for center at this point. We'll go to the end of our comp, maybe five seconds is good. And we'll have this anchor point just, you know, sweep along our logo like this. And now we have a light sweep going across our logo like that. And that looks pretty nice. So as you can see, it's very easy to create a 3D logo, but the majority of your work is gonna to come to building the composition. And that's what we'll talk about now is building a very nice composition. So we have an overall, you know, good 3D logo. So this is a very basic, simple composition, and I can quickly spruce this up with several third-party assets from one of my favorite packs called Cine Punch, which has over 8,000 assets for After Effects Premiere Pro and any other editor that you may use. So for example, from inside this pack, I can bring in a quick stock element for particles, and I can scale this down because most of the assets inside this pack are 4K to even 8K. And then I'll have these particles in here, and I can change the blend mode to screen. And now we'll have a little bit extra design with these particles. And then also I can add say a lens flare into here and bring it underneath our logo right above our background and we'll scale this one down as well. And now all together I have a much more enhanced composition than my basic you know, logo and background. And we've done a full review on the Cine Punch pack so if you want to learn more about Cine Punch you can go ahead and check out that video review. The link's in the video description. And if you want to learn more about Cine Punch and check out all 8,000 assets go ahead and check our links in the video description. It'll take you right over to Cine Punch. So that concludes our 3D logo tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.